Looking out for, look out, avoiding common mistakes. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our series on phrasal verbs. Today, we're going to focus on one important phrasal verb, look out. Specifically, we'll tackle some common mistakes and misconceptions associated with its use. First, let's ensure we understand what look out means. The phrasal verb look out is often used to warn someone of a danger or possible problem. It can also mean to watch carefully for something or someone. An example of the first meaning might be, look out, there's a car coming. For the second, we might say, I'm looking out for a good deal on a new laptop. One of the biggest misconceptions about look out is confusing it with similar phrases like look at or look up. Look at refers to directing your gaze or attention to something or someone. Look up generally means to find information about something or someone, often in a book or online. While these phrases may seem similar, they each have their unique usage, and it's crucial not to mix them up. Let's explore a few common mistakes that English learners often make with look out. Mistake 1. Using look out as a command for attention. In English, we typically use look out as a warning about danger, not a general command for attention. For instance, it's incorrect to say look out at the board when you want students to pay attention to what's written on the board. Instead, you'd say Look at the board. Mistake 2. Adding a preposition. Another common mistake is adding an unnecessary preposition after look out. For instance, you might be tempted to say look out for the ball, but the correct form is simply look out. Mistake 3. Overusing look out. Remember, look out is typically used in urgent situations or when you're actively watching for something or someone. Overusing it in everyday, non-urgent situations can lead to confusion and might make you sound unnatural. And there we have it. Today, we've looked into the common mistakes and misconceptions about the phrasal verb, look out. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, Look out for opportunities to use this phrasal verb in your daily conversations. We hope this lesson helps you use look out more confidently and correctly. Stay tuned for more lessons on phrasal verbs. Keep learning and keep improving.